I'm not one for sweeping with one arm and one hand, but I just had to show you what turd birds these little guys are. They're not helping. They think they are, but they're not. Look at you guys. This is our sheep a doodle litter from uh, Cherry and Ram. And uh, anyway, we're just out having a little fun. We're just out having a little fun. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just that before I, we replaced our flooring, it was much more of a challenge to keep sawdust and things like that off of our carpeting. So it was always easier for me to just film them in their freshly daily cleaned box. And um, we've been enjoying the fact that it's so easy to clean up after the puppies if they do squat um, or poop, which was a, hey, out of the trash, babe. Um, was a challenge, especially if they pooped on the carpet. Uh, so we were a little bit more reluctant to bring them out to let them run around, but now we're enjoying the fun of being able to let them run and play and pee, poop, we can clean it up. We need to, but um, anyway, they thought they were helping me with the broom. Let's see. Uh, again, this is Law Padoodle Canine Manor. As many of you know, these puppies have all been assigned to their families. Ah, 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 ah. I tried to put it out of the way and you're still gonna find it, aren't you? I would have put it outside in the trash can except that moms are out there and I wanted to have fun with the puppies before I let them back in. Will you stop? I could put it inside the pen, I guess. Keep them out of it. Ugh. There we go, guys. Ugh. Now you can't get it. <laughs> we got you. We got you covered. There's a little gray boy. He's gaining about six ounces a day, which is good. Uh, so he's not so little anymore. All right. What are you doing? That's our little brown collared boy. I didn't bring my book over to match names. I think he's Chestnut. I can't remember. Like I said, I don't bother to try to remember anymore. The ID names are more for uh, keeping track of data and being able to seek out puppies related to a particular litter, things like that, especially if I hear from my customers um, months to years down the road. If they can uh, refer to the ID name, I can easily search it in my database. Um, but it also personalizes them a little bit more. I'd say 98% of them do get changed. On occasion, we will have somebody that likes the uh, ID name and might keep it. There's our little gray boy. He's an explorer. He's very independent. Just really likes to, uh oh, okay, we won't take pictures of you pooing. No, we won't. There's our pink collared girl. All right, and here is our recently assigned red collar girl. She's actually going to a family that has one of our labradoodles from probably very near the beginning of our business 10 years ago. I want to say he's maybe seven or eight. I can't remember offhand. Um, but anyway, nice that uh, I got to get that poo up before somebody walks through it. Where are my paper towels? Nope, can't get in there. No, there's too much back there in the nooks and crannies for you guys to get in trouble with. Oh, very hard to videotape when you're trying to. This is when you wish you were an octopus. Huh? It's when you wish you were an octopus. Everybody has to poop at the same time. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Well, at least it's nice, hard, poopy, and easy to clean up. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Nothing like fresh poopy. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. A little bit of an interruption. Let's kind of get the mop after it. Uh-oh, somebody piddled somewhere. I can tell because there's wet footprints everywhere. I tell you, if nobody's looked into these spin mops, um, they are the best thing. I got extra heads. Um, they're just, we've got, I think, four or five of these uh, setups. We use it in the kennel. Um, I use it in the house, uh, of course we use it over here, and we use it in the puppy boxes, 
Um, they have been a game changer for us. And uh, you can get the, the extra heads easily enough and I just find, and they wash time and time and time and again in the washer. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. You can look for it yourself. I'm not gonna give a name because I'm not one to endorse companies unless they wanna sponsor me or something. Um, but that's what it looks like and it comes in a box. You can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart I think sells them. Target I know sells them. Target sells the heads. Uh, but I usually buy them on Amazon, it's just easier. Uh, but like I said, they're great because they're interchangeable. It sure beats having to try to rinse it out because they get kind of stinky after a while like every mop head does. So when they get like that, or in the case of over here, we change it more frequently because um, of trying to keep everything sterile. Of course, we use Clorox every day with all of our cleaning. And uh, let's see. I think we've forgotten in our distraction of cleaning up messes to... There's our dark pink girl munching a little bit. Oh, come on, guys, don't get behind there. That's their, I need to clean the papers out the bottom of that thing, but that is their holding pen when we are cleaning. Keeps them safe and it also keeps them cleaner. This was a play pen, but at this point they're big enough to where they can just run around. Here. That's more for videotaping the younger ones. Oh, 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 oh. you okay? All right. Things do happen. It's all right. All right, we got that out of the way. No problem. Gotta watch those cords. Let that be a lesson to everybody with a new puppy to try to puppy proof. Yes, nobody was hurt, but it can happen. Accidents do happen and everybody needs to be aware of that and realize that puppies are very, very curious. They explore everything. They wanna eat everything. If you go on the uh, the two sheep doodle groups that I am that I know of, uh, love sheep doodles, which was one of the I think was the very first Facebook group, L U V sheep doodles. Great, great group of support there. Um, <clears throat> knowledgeable owners, uh, been around a few years, so the typical issues and stuff like that in the event in with both groups is what I'm trying to say. The other one is sheep doodle lovers, uh, sheep doodle lovers. Um, and that's spelled the normal lover's way. And you can search them out on Facebook and join and request to join their groups. And tell them I sent your way. Tina Law, Law Padoodle Canine Manor. There is another group, Sheep a Doodle Obsession, but for some reason or other they don't feel that I'm worthy to be part of their group, so you want to join them, fine. Oh, another pooper. Another pooper. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. There's our brown collar boy. Pink collar, I can see they're already one. There's our purple collar girl. I don't think I acknowledge you. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Yeah, look at that tail go. Look at that tail go. All right, how did you get through there? Huh? Oh, let me get that poo. Before somebody walks through it, please don't walk through it. Please, 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 please don't walk through it. You're stepping right in it, you're ding back. I knew you were gonna do that. Can never get paper towel or wipes fast enough. Well, how did you get in there? Here, whoops. Come in, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is our little, black. Uh, nope, it's our gray collar boy. No, it's not, it's our black collar boy, sorry. Black, uh, black mixed with the, uh, White looks gray. Ha <laughs> ha. Go figure. Okay. That's our black collar boy. I thought you looked a little too big for our gray. Oh, there's our gray collar boy. Yes. Ha ha. Yeah. That's our pink girl. All right. And this is our brown collar boy. And our red collar girl. She's got a dot on her head got one of the trademark dots of this breed. Oh, you hear that cute little, see, this is a, uh, there are um, buttons puppies. 
And one of them's kind of gotten a little away from the rest of the group, so. How cute is that? I love barks and little chirps from little puppies. Less than a week old. They'll be a week old tomorrow. How sweet. Nothing like a content pile of puppies. Our website is www.lawpdoodle. K, the number nine. Uh, manor, M A N O R dot com. This is kind of an untraditional video. Just kind of showing you a little bit more what we do every day over here. Yeah. Uh-huh. The more you know, the less assumptions that are made about us. We don't hide anything. No, we don't. We don't tweet like some people that we have to hide, but we will show you videos of everything. Um, across the way, uh, some have already become familiar because for safety reasons, we, you know, we obviously we reveal our, um, uh, nursery as we're doing now. That's food, a uh, bag of food that's 50 pounds that my husband gracefully, gracefully carried over for me. Um, we are defeating our adults pro plan now. And you can ask me about that if you need to in my, uh, just email me. That is our meet and greet building right across from the nursery. That is Major, our farm dog, the one that came in with the hay about five and a half, six years ago. Um, he knew where to come, I guess. We did try to adopt him out, but both adoptions failed. So he ended up being part of us as if, if we needed another dog. But he knew who the suckers were. So he's... As far as we know, he's a lab. He wasn't fixed when we got him. He had a touch of heartworm. We had all of that taken care of, and he's just been a fixture around here and throughout the Blue Lick neighborhood since then. Rides around the back of my husband's uh, gator quite a bit. So, born in the barns across the road. So, I just wanted to kind of give you a view of what's outside for those that weren't able to make it here. We have a front porch. Of course, I'm a front porch person, so every building I put up that I'm going to use, it has to have a front porch. And uh, <clears throat> likewise does our meet and greet building. We have a front porch out here on our nursery, which originally, of course, was my quilting studio, but has served us well for the puppies. Ha, 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 ha. No chewing on cords. That one's unplugged. Thank goodness. <clears throat> so our uh, stove went out the other night briefly, and my husband wasn't here, and I could not get it started again. Uh, had the heat lamp on the puppies, and it wasn't cold over here because it's well insulated in this building. It was built basically like a house, has plumbing, electric, everything. Um, but anyway, uh, he rushed this heater over until he could get the uh, stove to work again, but our fireplace is working again. There it is. A gas fireplace in here, and it keeps this place pretty toasty. Yes, it sure does, doesn't it? Huh? So here I am once again approaching my 15 minutes, taking advantage of all that they'll allow me to do. Again, this is Lolpadoodle Canine Manor, and my name is Tina, and uh, feel free to email me, lpdk10608 at gmail.com. Oh, excuse me, that was my old email. It does work, um, but it's where all my junk goes, as, in other words, uh, promotional stuff and everything else, and my important emails, which are all my customers' inquiries get lost in there. So it's better to email me at lpdk 9 manor 8 which was the year we started our business, uh, at gmail.com. So much easier to track me down via email. I don't uh, have a problem with talking to people on the phone. As you can tell, I'm a chatterbox when I do my videos. Um, but uh, it does unfortunately um, take away from my day because I tend to spend more time on the phone than I should. <laughs> my bad. Okay. I'm right up against uh, 15 minutes. So God bless you all. Thank you for viewing our puppies.